Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning. It is 7 a.m. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to start rethinking this walking thing. Um, <laughs> now, nah, it's actually nice to get up this early. Not many people out. Uh, wife and kids are still sleeping. So I'm gonna take a different route on my walk today. I'm going to basically go spot, um, scout out some areas to fly the spark this afternoon. So rather than walking down to the boat ramp, I'm gonna walk up into the Black Hut management area. Now this area here I wouldn't do during the fall or during the winter because there's hunting back here. But from April to October, there's no hunting. We'll go a different way here. Like I said, I just want to check out, see if I, it's a big enough area back here for me to fly the spark. Getting up early in the morning for me is really difficult. You're looking at someone that once slept till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So do an early, I'm not an early morning person. I'm more of a late night person. But I'm finding when I stay up late, I tend to hit the snack cabinet. I'm trying to change my lifestyle to where I go to bed early, get up early been doing about a week now and to be honest I actually feel a lot better I feel like I have more energy during the day I'm not crashing and to be honest if you've been following the vlog you'll know I'm diabetic and my blood sugar has actually been really good for the past week so hopefully this I can keep this up and my numbers get really good This is the definition of living in the woods. This road turned into a dirt road. I don't believe there are any houses back here. Now there's a Boy Scout camp, and then there's um, the Black Hut management. There's like a parking area back here. This here is, like I said, the parking area. You can tell we had some heavy rain yesterday. Bugs. The bugs are horrible in here. I didn't think they were going to be this bad. We'll walk back into Black Hut a little bit. Alright, so we're at the entrance of the Black Hut management area. So we'll walk in here a little bit. This area down here is gated. So the trucks can't, so our ATVs and motorcycles and stuff can't get in. So the bugs that are flying around, they're not excused, they're horse flies. Yuck. The other thing, you gotta be careful, I'm gonna have to check myself out when I get home, is the ticks. A lot of ticks this year. Like I said, these bugs are incredible. Might not be able to go much further, they're driving me that nuts. Sorry guys, turning back bugs got too much they are ferocious so if I come back up here later on I'm gonna definitely definitely have to put on some bug spray boy they annoying little bastards holy mackerel <laughs> I hate bugs the worst part about living in the country I don't get bit that often but I hate when they fly around my ears drives me nuts all right we're getting out of the black hut management area you see up here, right after the puddle, is actually pavement again. So we're getting back to civilization here. Right here. Back on pavement. Like I said earlier, I love living up here. I grew up in the city, and it's just, it's gotten so bad. It's, it's I don't know, maybe it's just my perception. It's, uh... The city was never as bad as it is now. Uh, I grew up in the city of Pawtucket, and I remember being a kid where you could be out and you went to school, you got into a fight, the worst you could get is a bloody nose. Today, it's you get into a fight, you're gonna get shot or stabbed. Not only that, you're gonna have five or six other guys jumping on top of you. So it's nothing like it used to be. So when my daughters got old enough, 
we decided, you know, enough's enough. And we didn't want them to go to Pawtucket schools. So we moved up here. And that was 13 years ago. And to be honest, it was the best decision I ever made. I know I've said that many times in these videos. But I love living up here. Still got the bugs going on me. Uh, I think they're following me. But no, other than the bugs, this is the best, best decision. It is so beautiful up here. So quiet. Uh, we're going to go a different road. I'm going to try to take you to the other side of the lake. Uh, there's some houses there. I don't know how, I can't remember how clear of a view that I'm going to have of the lake from it, but it's a nice walk. This is the back side of the concession area. And that's Spring Lake down there. Uh, banquet hall that you can rent over here. That's the back half of the beach. It's really nice. This will be booming today, being a Sunday. Opens up at 10. It's getting to be about eight o'clock now, so people around the lake are starting to wake up. Uh, it's gonna be a gorgeous day today. Humidity's gone. It's supposed to be up around 80. So it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice day. I hadn't been up in this area, God, in five or six years. Look at how beautiful the houses are up here. It's absolutely beautiful. But you get up in here and it's an association. So, the house is going to be gorgeous. I'm going to start heading back now. I'm at about a mile and a half right now. So, by the time I get back, I'm going to be about three miles. So, I did a little bit longer of a walk today. <sighs> I need it because, like I said, I hadn't done the walk for the past two days. Uh, I got my drone in, so I've been playing with that. And then, I don't know what it was yesterday. We had the funeral in the morning. And then I just crashed. I ended up, I fell asleep for about two hours. I don't know, it was the heat and humidity yesterday. And then when it's time to go do the afternoon walk, the thunderstorms came through. Well, what was supposed to be thunderstorms, just heavy rain showers. So, but I'm heading back to the house. I am back from my walk. Oh, that was a nice walk. I just checked and I actually did three miles. Well, 2.8 miles according to my phone. Uh, the other walk down to the boat ramp is only a mile and a half, so. It's a nice walk. What I'm doing right now is I gotta get my clothes in the laundry. I've got to take a shower, get dressed, and I'm definitely gonna get the spark up in the air this afternoon. Definitely. So, and so I just wait for my daughter to get out of the bathroom. She's taking a shower right now. Once she gets out, I can get my clothes in, go down, take that shower, and fly a little bit. So I'll be back here when I bit. still haven't gotten the drone up in the air yet. <laughs> Life just gets in the way. I actually spent the last hour or so uh, with the girls. We cleaned the house, got the living room done, the kitchen done. I got laundry almost all done. Uh, so, as a matter of fact, I haven't even gotten in the shower yet. So, too bad this, if, if this was smell o vision, you would not like me right now. Uh, what my plans are right now is Lee just got back from grocery shopping and she's cooking up lunch for everyone. We're going to have some hot dogs. And um, afterwards, I got to take a shower. And once I'm done with the shower, I'm going to get the drone and I'm going to practice with it in the backyard. And if I feel com confident enough, when we go on the walk, I'm, I'm going to go on a walk, the walk again tonight. And I'm going to take it with me to try to get some shots. So, cross my fingers. Uh, hopefully I feel confident enough with it. Uh, other thing I'm going to have to make sure is that I put bug spray on because holy mackerel those horse flies were incredible this morning. It was, as soon as I entered into the, the hunting area, the black hunt management area, it was horrible. Yeah, so that's it. So we're going to go for the walk. And, well, I'm going to eat hot dogs. I'm going to practice a little bit. I'll videotape me practicing. I'll show you the video from the drone practicing. Uh, wind's not too bad, right? It's a little breezy, so it, it should be good. I should have no problems with the wind. Uh, it's supposed to hold up to, I think it's like a 20 to 25 mile an hour wind. It's supposed to be good, in, but it'll chew the battery up like crazy. That's one thing I noticed is the batteries do not last long, so I'm glad I got the, the extra one, the third battery. So they're all charged. The controller's charged. I'm charging up my cell phone now, so I have a full charge on that, and we'll take, like I said, I'll take it in the backyard, so I'll film that, so. I'm going in to eat my lunch, take a shower, and then I'll see you next time I see you. should be out uh, flying the drone in the backyard. Hey, I am out in the yard right now. I'm using the big boy camera of my T6i. Uh, I have the G7X right here. 
we're gonna do some drone flying. So I'm gonna get the drone all set up. It's gonna take me a couple minutes to do that. And I'll take some video and see, get used to it in the yard. It's more than that, more of, more of what I'm gonna do. Still not 100% comfortable with it. As you can see, the moths. Those, that's a gypsy moth. In case you were wondering, that is a gypsy moth. Uh, they are looking, that's the male. Uh, they are actually looking for females right now, so. Uh, but, all right, I'm gonna get the um, drone set up and I'll be out here flying in a couple of minutes. All right, I got it all set up. I'm able to fly right now. I'm gonna hold it out. Still in beginner mode. Um, charging the batteries up next time they're fully charged, probably by about a half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm gonna take it off beginner mode and I'm gonna try flying the other way. Um, I am sheltered where I am right now. One of the things I found is when I got it up, there's a breeze today, and that thing was struggling in the breeze, so I was kind of nervous about going up high. After try it a little bit more once I get a little more comfortable I'll probably go up a little bit further but right now oof, yeah it's it, I was getting nervous with that so it's pretty good video uh, it's, I'm impressed with the, the video that it's taken is perfect for me to use in this vlog um, yeah I, I'm happy with it so far I just got to get over this nervousness just don't want to crash the thing or, well, I did some video editing this afternoon. I took the drone up, flew it around a little bit, the Spark. I think I got a good grasp on it right now. Uh, Lee and I are about to go for another walk. Well, I'm going for another walk. This will be Lee's first walk of the day. And we're going to go and head back up the same way I did this morning. I'm going to take the drone, see if I can get some shots. Uh, we'll see. But, um, yeah, so we're going for a walk in a couple of minutes. Right, Leanne and I are going down the walk again. What? You don't want to be on it? No, not really. No? Well, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I know. Because now I'm going to do this the whole walk. Yeah. So I'm going to do the walk again. I got my drone with me, so I'm going to try flying it up in the Black Hut area. All right, I'm back at the Black Hut management area. Coat it with bug spray right now, unlike this morning. So let's see, I got a bug flying right in my face right now. But they don't seem to be attacking like they were this morning. Walking down the trail here in Black Hut. 
ton of bugs out here. Holy mackerel. There's yeah. little tiny. Yes. Little tiny. Little tiny. He's a little frog. Little tiny frogs. Look how tiny he is. <laughs> All right, we thought the bugs would be less with bug spray on and going at dusk or later on in the afternoon. They're just as bad. The bug spray's not doing a darn thing, so we're gonna have to get some stronger bug spray. That might kill frost flies. Yeah. If I remember right, we haven't been up this trail in a while, but if we just go up around the bend here, that's where the, the lake and the dam is. So we're almost there. So, there's another way out. Probably is. I know that other trail. I remember looking at the map and it goes all the way over to Jocelyn. Flying in, still nervous on it. Um, so we got to go through. Watch where you're walking. <laughs> we got to go through Bug City up here. So. Yes, maybe we'll see a deer on the way. Yeah. Hopefully not up close. <laughs> I don't need a deer. The bear on the other hand. <laughs> it would have been a little hairy. And Leanne, if I was injured, would you leave me in the woods for the bears to take care of me? home. Oh, that was a long walk. It was, yeah. difficult. it was a difficult walk too through the trails and stuff. I was at 2.9 miles when we left. I did two floors. I'm at five miles. So 2.1 miles. miles. I've walked a total of five miles today. I feel good though. I may not feel good tomorrow morning but I feel good right now. So I need water. All right, back at the house right now. Uh, that was a great walk. Oh my God, that was an awesome walk. It was actually less than what I did this morning, but I burned off a lot more than just walking the streets, going up and down through the hills. The only problem there, the horse flies are incredibly bad back there. Holy mackerel. I mean, you'll see me doing this throughout the whole video. Um, but no, it was a nice walk. That, that, was, that was good. And I reached five miles for the day, which I'm proud of. Um, I'm going to try my best to get up at five o'clock again tomorrow morning and go and do the walk just down to the boat ramp and back because that's all I have time for. Um, I know Friday, even though I was tired once I got home, I felt a lot better. And even doing this walking, I'm feeling a heck of a lot better. I, I see I'm building up more and more energy. Yeah, when you, hit, when you hit my age, you really can't have the sedentary lifestyle. I mean, my job, I'm sitting at a desk all day punching the keyboard, you know, doing code and stuff because I'm a web designer. And yeah, it, it, it caught up with me. So I finally, you know, about a week ago decided that's it. I'm going to be doing the walks. I quit drinking Diet Coke. And actually, I quit drinking Diet Coke three, two and a half weeks ago. About that. And since I quit drinking Diet Coke, um, I drink Crystal Light now instead. Uh, I still drink a ton of liquids. But since then, and with doing the walks, I've lost 12 pounds. So two and a half weeks, 12 pounds, I think that's pretty good. Uh, my goal is I still have like another 30 or 40 to lose. So I gotta keep up with this. I gotta keep stepping the game up and I gotta stay with it. I can't give up. I'm gonna go in. I'm not sure whether we're gonna do anything else tonight. So if we don't, this will be the end of the video. I appreciate you watching it. If it's the first time that you've seen one of my videos, thank you. I appreciate you watching. If you want, you you can subscribe. There's a button on the bottom, right uh, right down here, I believe. And if you click the bell icon next to it, you get a notification every time that I upload a video. I try to upload daily. I've actually got a good string of going every single day. Uh, don't always do every day. Sometimes life gets in the way, so 
you know, I, I'm not where I'm going to die if I don't upload a video for a day, but I try to do it every day. Uh, this is the type of vlog I do. It's just basic life. It's my life. I try to make it entertaining, and hopefully it is a little bit entertaining. Uh, I try to take you to different areas that I go to, so if you like it, please click the like button over here. I'm gonna, I'll try to get to you again before I end, but if I don't, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up over here. If you want, you can subscribe below here and click the bell icon. That'll give you notifications. If you want, you can click up here to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can click right here. If you want to see a video from about a year ago, click right here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.